Well, welcome and good morning. I want to share with you a, a little experiment I'm going to be involved with here, which is making Himalayan tartary buckwheat super nutrition waffles for this morning's breakfast. And here's our super nutrition Himalayan tartary buckwheat flour, which uh, is, as far as I know, the only flour in the world that's uh, certified for its high phytochemical immune uh, modulating opportunity, over 11,000 milligrams per uh, grams of, uh, of this flour of immune active phytochemicals. And then here is uh, what I'm going to be doing here over the course of the next, this is our, uh, if you get the flour, you'll get this, uh, this card, which has on the back the recipe for the mix that I'm going to be using. So with that, let's, uh, let's get started. This is uh, going to be a fun project. So what all do you need? Uh, just to kind of lay out the tools here, tools are pretty simple. Uh, a whisk, spatula, measuring cups, measuring spoons, a couple of bowls to do our mixing, and uh, I use also this little bowl to, uh, to liquefy the coconut oil. And then there is our ingredients, uh, not too complex, obviously, starting with the Himalayan tartary buckwheat super nutrition flour, uh, nut milk, and we use cage-free, omega-3 rich uh, eggs, two of them. Uh, then we have our organically certified coconut flour, our organically certified uh, coconut oil, uh, we use this uh, monk fruit sweetener, uh, low, you know, low glycemic load, no, uh, no sugar. And then we have our baking materials, our baking soda and our baking powder. The magic, however, are obviously the flavoring enhancers, our organic vanilla extract, and our super chai mix. And uh, the chai mix we put together ahead of time. And if you look at the recipe, it includes nutmeg, cloves, uh, ginger, cardamom, and cinnamon. So op obviously very, very strong, pungent, and extraordinary good flavor, and a little bit of salt. That rep represents the ingredients that you need to assemble, and we will get going and putting it all together. Well, here I am again. Now we're ready to start doing the, uh, the actual preparation. So what I've done is I put all the dry ingredients uh, here and, and mixed it well. So we've got that all set. I've got the eggs uh, here, the organic eggs, uh, ready to go. And I've got the liquid materials, which is the vanilla extract and the uh, nut milk, uh, almond milk there. So I think we're cool. And all we need to do now is to mix these together and we'll have at it. So let's, uh, let's pour the dry material here. And then we'll go to the liquid material here, liquid ingredients. And then lastly, probably not in necessary order of priority here, we'll add the, the eggs. And then use the magic kitchen helper, the whisk. To, uh, after I get some preliminary mixing here, we use the whisk to really start making this into the final. You know, it's very interesting actually with Himalayan tartary buckwheat because it's such high phytochemical uh, content that it has a really interesting color profile. You know, if we eat the rainbow, <laughs> this particular flower makes a really interesting uh, variegation of the rainbow. Very um, Kind of an interesting mauve orange tint to it because of the high phytochemicals. It's like uh, unlike anything I've ever seen in, in the way of flour. It's really very interesting. So now I'll go to the whisk and we'll start to and and the color actually uh, as it hydrates uh, the flour hydrates it actually starts to um, change color, which is interesting. I think it's a combination of the uh, oxygen. Uh, and the water hydrating and, and maybe the liberation of enzymes within the whole uh, flour. But uh, you, you start to see it actually taking on a, a different kind of color and it becomes even more vivid uh, when, you, when you cook it. And you'll see that 
as we get into the waffle cooking component of this process. So if you look uh, at the color here, you notice it's it's a kind of an interesting starting to turn a little bit more into the yellow brown, which it'll get even more as we get into the cooking. So I think we're ready to start cooking. We've, uh, oh no we're not. Oh boy, shame on me. In the microwave, uh, I have the last important <laughs> ingredient liquid. Ah oh, boy, see, I almost forgot, which is the coconut oil, which I've melted uh, one, one minute uh, in the microwave I was able to melt it into a homogeneous because, yes, you know, coconut oil has a solidification temperature that's uh, about room temperature. So now, oh, I'm glad we, glad we thought of that. That would have been a little bit of a disaster. So there we go. Now we have the complete, all the ingredients in here, now stirred and properly ready to put into our waffle iron. So hold tight and we'll start cooking. I'm back. I want to give you a little bonus here. Just a 30 second bonus. And this is a trick. This is a kind of a secret. If you want to really spice it up, add some macadamia nut pieces to the bitter, to the, and then uh, the other thing which will spice it up uh, when you've completed it, we are very fortunate to have received from Dr. Tom Gellums some of his own homemade real maple syrup and uh, this is a treat this is like the mother liquor this is like you parse it out in gram quantities but uh, that's going to make our kind of special version of our Himalayan tartary buckwheat chai super nutrition waffles thanks so much well here i am again we've had a couple of minutes of cooking i think we're ready to look at the results of our experiment by the way this is a very low glycemic uh, preparation and we've studied this oh look at that oh my word see what I mean by the interesting color and perfect timing you hear the little buzzer going off so here it is our first uh, Himalayan tartary buckwheat waffles coming off this batch oh yes very nice now I uh, if you like maple syrup I've been suggesting that this uh, a monk fruit sweetener, which is uh, no sugar, uh, might be a, an alternative for those of you that want to, uh, to use sweetener of some type. But this is really a supercharged uh, breakfast. Very high in fiber, uh, very high in prebiotics, very high in vitamins and minerals, high in zinc and magnesium. Interestingly, it has um, a, a lot of D-chiro inositol in it, which you probably know is good for blood sugar. Uh, it's the low glycemic response, and then it's got this packed uh, treasure trove of uh, phytonutrients, the uh, immune potentiating portfolio of more than 100 different phytonutrients uh, from the flavonoid polyphenol family. So here it is. This was our Himalayan tartary buckwheat waffle experiment. Thanks so much for being part of the process. Now the fun part, obviously, is eating. Enjoy.